Good afternoon, you two. How are you this afternoon? I am pretty good. It's uh, a little after five o'clock on Thursday, and today was the last day that I'm uh, teaching here at the Maverick campus. Um, it was kind of a, it was a good day um, all, all around. Um, the outgoing class uh, moved on to their trainer trucks or the few regulars we had got their own trucks and uh, left and then the new class started and we moved them down into the bays uh, after job offers and uh, actually we really didn't get down there till late. Um, right before lunch we headed down there and did the initial intro for chaining and binder work and the chaining station and things like that and then we went to lunch. Um, they had a lunch and learn that had lasted about an hour and a half and and then after that, uh, we went, finally got into the base to actually do work and do the first builds for Eye to the Side. We got all that done and got out of there, out of there about 3.30 and it was, the humidity is brutal. Um, I think the heat index was about 112, 113. Um, it wasn't all that hot, it was just uncomfortable because of all the humidity. Once that was done, we got them upstairs and uh, ran them through the presentations for tomorrow handing out homework and cut them loose about 4.30. That's, um, it was a, kind of a long day. We just, like I said, delayed this morning due to some things that I'm not really sure all the reasons why, but things just didn't go as quickly and as smoothly as I usually do. And I don't think it's any fault of anything. It's just the way things happen sometimes. Um, <clears throat> but as I said, it was my last day and um, it, was, it was fun. Kind of laid back for me. I mean, I still did all the stuff I usually do, but it was kind of a uh, this is the end, you know, and I'm gonna miss it. Um, my uh, my boss, our bosses, uh, threw me a lunch party. They ordered in sandwiches from Jimmy John's, and uh, for everybody, all the staff members, and we all of us got together. And we had lunch together and talked and chit chatted and BSed and uh, had a good time for 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 a little more than an hour before we got back to work. And everybody seemed, in my opinion, you know. Sorry to see me see me go, um, and uh, I'm gonna miss all of them. As, as I said, I've, I've had a great great time here. Um, you know, I came came to Maverick back in April, and uh, went through the training program, and I, I knew at that time that the staff cared about everybody, and cared about Maverick too, especially making sure the people that came through this program, whether they're you know, going to TCD or going to flatbed or moving on to glass, they had the, the best training that, they, that, that we, that Maverick could give. And I, I felt that it was really, really good at the time. And I, I really respected everybody. And I came in here when they asked me and I spent these last 10 weeks, roughly, a little over 10 weeks, um, here uh, working with them. And it's only reinforced uh, my opinion of the company um, into the, the positive. If there was a you know, zero to ten scale of trucking companies out there, Maverick would be a solid nine, edging to ten. I mean, there's it's not perfect, and there is no tr perfect trucking company. But for me uh, and the people that I know, it is it is as close to perfect as it can get, especially from the staffing point of view, because everybody cares about the success of the people around them, whether it be other other instructors, it be students, it be good drivers on the road. You can see that when guys come in here, um, a lot of them think that it's a big hassle. They come here and their loads get get looked at and they get, you know, not really scrutinized, but you know, if something's wrong, they get educated and get them to get it fixed. And that's all good for because of the good of the company. Um, <clears throat> other few other things happened today. Um, I uh, talked to my fleet manager and uh, about when I'm gonna go back on his board. Technically, I'll be going back on his board tomorrow, but I'm not getting a truck uh, until either tomorrow or Monday, um, which is fine with me. I, I'm, I'm going home for the weekend. I'm, I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave later this evening or wait until tomorrow to go. There's a lot of storms between me and Texas and I haven't decided it, how that's gonna work because I do have things I need to take home and for me to take them home, they're gonna have to ride in the bed of my pickup truck. And I don't not have a tarp for my pickup truck, so I really don't want the stuff to get wet. 
or any more wet than it would need to get. Um, so I may, I may just hold off and leave early in the morning. I get up, take a shower, take off, you know, six or seven in the morning, depending on what time I get up. So, uh, like I said, a few other things I might get in my truck. Um, I am, I do know pretty good what truck I'm getting. Um, I'm actually getting a condo and, uh, I haven't talked about that. Yet. I have talked about it a little bit. I haven't announced it. Um, this past Monday, as y'all know, I applied to uh, be a road trainer uh, based on my experience here in the training base and my experience with other companies. On uh, Wednesday, um, they came over and let me know that I was approved for that. It went all the way up the chain of command. And the director, vice president of, tra of uh, training and safety said, yeah, sure thing. So I started those processes. I will be going out on the road Tuesday because I'm not returning back here till Monday um, and I'll be getting a condo I'm gonna be going they're gonna go ahead and give me a trainer truck because uh, I will be coming back <laughs> to the Maverick campus um, on the 21st of August I'll probably get here on the 19th or the 20th actually to attend uh, MIT class which runs Sunday through I believe Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure. Two, four or five days. I can't remember what he said. And uh, to go over the processes and curriculum of what the driver trainers are supposed to do, how it's supposed to operate, make my selections on what kind of students that uh, I, I will I will train. Whether I'll train males and or females, um, whether I'll train uh, smokers or non-smokers, uh, that kind of thing. Um, Frankly, and I'll, I'll say this right now for those people that are watching, and I do know there's a couple of people that have asked me, and I got a couple of comments that said, when I come up to Maverick, will you be my trainer? Yeah, you can always ask, and if you're in my area, then, or if it's possible, then yeah, that's fine. Um, providing you've got a good nature, you're not too, too, too uptight, and you're willing to learn, um, because I'm not in it for the money. Well, I am in it for the money, but uh, people I train are going to are going to learn to do things the Maverick way. Um, and uh, I, I'm afraid to say that some of our trainers don't do that, <clears throat> which is which is not doing any justice to their students. But I digress on that. Um, as long as you do not smoke or dip or chew, that's fine. You can vape because I vape, and that's not a problem for me. But if you're just a plain old smoker. Uh, no, um, you know if you if you smoke and you come with me, then you won't be able to smoke while you're in the truck. You'll have to get out of the truck to to smoke. And there's plenty of smoking trainers out there uh, that have no problem with you smoking in the truck. I know it's kind of maybe it's a little bit hypocritical. I mean, I did smoke for 27 years and I vape now, but there is a distinct difference between vaping and smoking, um, unless you're a cl you're a cloud chaser, but the uh, the big difference is is the odor, you know if you're if you're vaping your the smell of your of your of your vapor that you're putting out is usually the flavor or whatever you're using. Me mine's basically peppermint, so I can have a cloud of peppermint around me all the time. That's not an offensive smell really, but the tobacco smell is now I don't like it. I can't. I have a very difficult time. I, mean, I sit on the smoke pad and I vape, but I try to stay away from the regular smokers as much as possible. But I digress. Uh, again, um, so I'll get my truck. They'll actually, either give it to me tomorrow or on Monday. I don't know which. But since I won't be here because I have to go home and take a bunch of stuff home that I'm not going to need in my truck, um, and then get then come back, and I can't come back until Monday afternoon. So I'll be able to load up the truck and and take off from there. So it uh, and I'll talk about that in detail later. Um, cause I'll have a few weeks of solo, which will be good and get back to the old style videos. And then I'll have to work out some kind of method of doing videos while I have students on the truck. I don't know. I have to think about how I'm going to do it, but I'll, I'll still make videos. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, it's been, it's been a little more than 10 weeks and it's been a good time. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. And I'm going to miss it. Um, I'm going to miss being able to take a shower whenever I want. And then I have to try to 
find a shower. It's been nice having this room um, on some respects and that, that kind of thing. So, um, uh, on the personal front, there's not really anything going on right now. Um, you know, uh, both my wife and son are at home, so I'll see them this weekend. Uh, there hasn't been any tragedies that I'm aware of, and everything seems to be trucking right along on the personal personal front. Of course, you know, you always need more money and things like that, but that's not a big deal. Um, I did have a question, I think it was yesterday or the day before, about pumpkin. Um, my wife's Yorkshire Terrier and her hip. She's doing really, really well. She has not had the surgery, and she it, she is not going to have it. Um, apparently, well, not really apparently, but the pain management seemed to have done its job, and she's been putting more and more pressure on it. And sometime in the last two weeks or so, uh, she popped it back into socket on it on her own. Whether she, whether it just happened or she was over rambunctious and fell on it, which I know she's done a couple times. But the, while I was home last time, uh, she went up and down the stairs by herself. And uh, that's not something you can do with a messed up hip. So um, we get her on light pain medication for any discomfort. The swelling has gone down. You can feel that the joint is no longer protruding. Um, yeah, you can even see it. So that's good. We don't have to worry about that. I still have to come up with a way of recovering from the you know, eleven hundred dollars that I spent uh, on so far, and I don't know what we're gonna do about that. I guess I'm just gonna have to eat it and bear with it. Um, so that's pretty much about it. Uh, the next video will probably be from my truck, and uh, that will be a few days away. I'm not sure when the next one will be. It'll take me a little bit to get all that together. Here in a week or so, I don't know how long it'll take. I'll do a uh, recap of my time here at Maverick. Uh, instructing like I did for orientation and uh, once I have a chance to finish processing all the information in my head and come up with some uh, you know commentary on it so that's it uh, you guys have a great weekend I plan on having a great weekend so keep the shiny side up 73s and I'll talk to you later bye